Hey there, and welcome to some Trello tips and tricks. If you follow me or you are part of my membership, Makers Tech U, you know I love Trello. It is a game changer for getting organized and keeping track of all your stuff, all your things, all the things you have to do. Um, I use it to organize everything, my online courses, just it's amazing what you can do with Trello. And in this video, I want to show you a couple little tricks and tips, some things that you can do to even further organize your Trello board. One thing they have now is where you can actually make your card a solid color. I'm going to show you how to do it. So over here, I'm just going to choose this particular list right here. And I've created some, I guess you would call them subheadings under business information. So I have taxes, insurance, policies, contracts, and professional services. But I really want to make these stand out and I want to use them as sort of a subdivider. And then I can add cards underneath each of those sections. And right now it's really hard to do that because you can't, or at least you used to not be able to create a card that had a full color. So let's take a look at that. So what I'm gonna do is I clicked on the card and I'm gonna go to cover. Now on the paid plan, you can upload a cover image. On the free plan, you can just search uh, for stock photos. You can also use the stock photos on the paid plan as well. But let's focus on the colors right now. So the first color I'm going to choose is green. And we have two style options. Let's take a look at this first one. So what you'll see now is that it's given this top part of the card the color green. But I want the whole thing to be the color green. So I'm going to come back in and I'm gonna choose the second style option. And now the word taxes appears on the card itself. Let's do another one. And let's make the colors all different. Let's choose this second style. So now we have another. Let's do the third. And then let's do the fourth. All right, now we have four cards for these, I'm going to only use these as dividers. That's it. I'm not going to put any content on these whatsoever. These are only going to have the function of being dividers. So I'm going to go ahead and add another card and I'm going to make this simple and I'm just going to put several cards in here. For the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it easy and just do a bunch of cards that have <laughs> various plans on them. Okay, so now we have all of these different cards. These cards I will put content on. I'll put checklists on them, I'll upload images to them, I'll add links to them, descriptions. I'll use these as any other type of card, but I want them to be organized on the business information list underneath a category. So I'm gonna put taxes, it's gonna have plan A and plan D. Plan C is gonna go under insurance, plan E, plan B under policies, and we'll keep professional services will be plan F. So now I can quickly look at my list and see what is categorized under each of these different categories, taxes, insurance, and so forth. And this is a great way to give not only colors, but also organize in a way that you can then see what these different categories are and what falls underneath these different categories. All right, that's one way you can use them. Now, another thing you can do, you can also, instead of just using color, you can use images. So let's take a look at that. Over here, we're gonna look at this branding board here, this list, and we have the first card is brand board ideas. So I'm gonna click on that. This is the title of my board. I'm gonna to go to cover, and then I'm gonna choose under search for photos. I'm just gonna choose something Let's go with something colorful. And these are free to use stock photos. You can, on the paid plan, you can upload your own images as well. Now, the same with the color cards, you have an option of two different styles. So let's take a look at this first style right here. Or let's take a look at the first style. Let's go with this one. All right, let's take a look at that. So you can see it functions much like the old way of doing covers. You could upload an image, it can be added as a cover. So you have it right here and then your title of your board card, sorry, is right here. 
So let's take a look and change that. So you can change that right here. Let's go to the second option. With this option, you have two views. Let's click with this dark view. I'll call it the dark view. So now you can see the name of your card has been brought up and is now above the image. And we chose the dark view, so the font coloring is white over black. Now let's change it, and let's change it to light view. Now you see it's still over the image. It's faded ever slightly with a gradient, and now the text is black. And so these are just a couple of ways that you can change this out. I really like this feature. However, if you want to be able to see checklists, attachments, comments, anything that's below your title, you need to make sure that you choose option one. And you can see that here, you get your card title and then these little things represent any of the other parts to your card. So you can see that. Let's look at it with an example where I have those. Um, let's go with this Instagram page, right? So you can see there's a checklist, there are details. And so I really wanna be able to see that. So let's go down here. Let's just pick this one for now. And if we take a look at it this way, you can see that the checklist and all that information has disappeared. So if I go back in and I choose this option, I'll be able to see that now. The image is up here and then my content is right down here. So just depending on the method or the way you wanna use these, these could also be used for separators as well. I showed you here using them with color, but you could use them here with images as well. Okay, one more quick tip. You can also use line breaks in your list to separate your cards. How do you do that? You click on add a card, type in five dashes and hit enter. Five dashes and hit enter. So now I have these lines that represent a spacing, right? So I can move these over and let's say I wanna put a spacer here and I want to put a spacer here. Now these function just like spacers. I won't use these as an active card. They are simply just being used as a spacer to divide and to separate content. Okay, one more thing. I didn't put this in the description, but here's another little tip. What if you want to add GIFs to a card? It just jazzes it up. It makes it happy. It makes it fun. Here's how you do it. Over here in Show Menu, you're gonna click on that and then you're gonna click on Stickers. These are standard here from Trello, but let's type in something fun like Sunshine. Making sure Use Animated Stickers is checked. Now we're gonna be able to choose one of these fun stickers and put this on a card. Let's go with this one. And then we're simply gonna drag this up here Let's put it on that one. It's a little hard to see with the gray, so let's bring in another one. Let's bring in this one. Now, aren't those fun? It just makes it a little bit happier and a little bit more joyful. Now, how do you get rid of that? You just hover over it and then click remove, and now it's gone. All right, let me know if you have any questions. I hope you found this useful and helpful. Uh, Inside Makers Tech U, my membership site for creatives, artists, makers who are needing extra tech support and tech help. I really simplify um, everything from graphic design, website design, photography, video editing, and so much more. I can help you even further inside Makers Tech U at makerstechu.com forward slash join. All right, let me know if you have any questions at all it's been a pleasure and I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.